I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, I was Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing amazingly well So in today's video, we're going to be talking about top gourmand fragrances but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is so for those of you who are not familiar with the term gourmand in perfumery it means perfumes that smells edible so you have perfumes that have notes of honey of vanilla caramel chocolate candy and so on now i have 10 perfumes here that i'm going to share and if you would like to see my list make sure you stay tuned now before i share the perfumes i would like for you to take a split moment to please head over to my Instagram and give me a follow there. I will have a QR code on the screen that you can scan and give me a follow. It literally helps me grow. It's so, so helpful for me and also for you as well because I make amazing content on there as well as on YouTube. So in no particular order, I'm going to share some of the best gourmands I have ever when I say ever, add that I have ever had my nose on. I have here viral vanilla. This was probably still is viral right now on all social media platform. And I managed to get my nose on this last week thanks to my younger sister. Now this was made in collaboration with Paul. I don't actually know who this guy is until this perfume came out. Um, for those of you who know him, my apologies. I honestly did not know who he was. I just saw this perfume was like everywhere and it's in collaboration with Okcha. Now, when I first got my nose on this perfume, I must say I was so impressed. Now, this is meant to be a dupe for Bianco Latte. Those of you that follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, you already know I am not a fan of Bianco Latte because of that very strong cumarin note, which comes off to me to me <laughs> as a maggie scent like maggie seasoning that's what it smells like to me it's kind of like all the gourmand notes the caramel the honey the vanilla infused with a dose of maggie this is the reason why bianco latte doesn't work for me i have tried it several times um i remember somebody telling me to go back and try again and i'm just like i have a lot of perfumes i love perfumes i smell perfumes all the time and i know when i don't like something sometimes my mind does change but in the case of um bianco latte nah i just cannot get with that perfume but anyhow viral vanilla to me is a coconut and caramel scent it smells so delicious like i literally want to drink this it's so good it's powdery it's got fluffy marshmallow i love the notes in this perfume the notes definitely translates to what this perfume smells like and the longevity is unreal i was shocked when i sprayed this in the morning and i could still smell myself in the evening it's very strong spray lightly actually go heavy if you want to you can go heavy it's not gonna choke you but is very very strong which i really really love and it projects far and wide it leaves an amazing siage i not me recommending a dupe over the original if you were thinking should i get bianco latte should i get this one please and please and please if you trust me go ahead and get viral vanilla i think it's absolutely stunning so this next perfume was kindly sent to me by the brand i did request for this perfume because i loved the sound of the notes and the perfume is called yellow and some people might call it yellow i don't know but i'm calling it yellow now this is the bottle i told you guys in my last video that all of the soradora perfumes with this white cap are top tier if you like if you like gourmands if you like fruity perfumes if you like aromatic fresh smelling perfume this takes all of the boxes it is spicy it is sweet but it has this gourmand undertone that just takes it to the next level the only thing i will say is that at the beginning when you first spray this perfume you get a blast of that apricot and tea and that in a way kind of reminds me of carpal you know the children's um paracetamol it comes in a liquid form 
it's it reminds me of that just ever so slightly but when you move down to the mid and to the dry down of this perfume the magic happens this is so beautiful this is a really unique perfume out of all of the gourmands that i have in my collection this is the most unique gourmand that i have in my collection and i absolutely absolutely love it i think it's just so refreshing to get a perfume like this it's perfect for all year round longevity is eight to nine hours plus the siage is fantastic it's not a beast mode projecting type of scent but i would say maybe in the first hour people will smell you but for people to smell you more they need to kind of move a little bit closer but this is so amazing i feel like this might be better than Jani, in my opinion. You guys know already how much I love Jani. Um, it's another one by Soradora. I feel like this one kind of tops it just a little bit. So that is Yeel Up by Soradora. The next perfume on my list is Lyra by Zerzhov. This is one of the few perfumes that I love by Zerzhov. I find Zerzhov as a brand to be a tad bit challenging for me. Um, I want to say this is my favorite um, Zerzhov perfume at the moment. This to me smells like a lemon cake. Fresh and citrusy lemon cake is amazing. The only downside to this is it's not as long lasting as say perfumes that smell similar like Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana, um, Acro Bake. It doesn't smell as long lasting as them, but it smells just as fantastic as those perfumes smell. If you are looking for gourmand, with a fresh vibe this is the perfume for you i was actually surprised to learn that this has a note of lavender thank goodness i do not detect lavender in here i don't even smell it at all um, but it does have lavender in there so maybe it has a calming vibe it gives me soft elegance so maybe the lavender is doing something but at the end of the day i find lira to be such a fantastic perfume smells amazing great for this time of the year just over spray in order to get it to last a little bit longer so that is lira by zerzhov the next perfume is pear gelato now i want to say something about this brand and it's n i'm not being shady in any way i just don't like any of their perfumes and that has never happened to me before there's always at least one perfume from a brand that i would love but none of their perfumes personally work for me i know a lot of people love this brand but i just find their perfumes not to work for me but this pear gelato <laughs> this pear gelato perfume is unreal i was blown away i was gobsmacked i had to like my sister told me i was gonna love this and i didn't believe her but boy was i wrong this opens up with the juiciest ripest pear note it smells so addictive and then you get a lot of the gourmand elements but you get the pear throughout which i love so this gives me a fruity gourmand it's a sweet it's vanilla and it also gives me a vibe of you know when you warm up milk and you put a little bit of sugar that warmth it has that in the dry down which makes this so so special longevity is not all day long it does last i want to say you'd get an average of five hours plus well in my experience the scent profile is what blew me away like for me i couldn't care less about longevity and all that jazz if i like the scent profile of a perfume i will spray it down i highly recommend it one positive thing i want to mention about the brand is that their perfumes are affordable i wish the bottle was a little bit had a little bit more oomph to it i mean the bottle is nice the bottle is lovely i just wish that the cap was maybe magnetic or something to kind of give it a little bit more i don't know quality but the juice in here is fantastic please check out pear gelato vanilla powder vanilla powder vanilla powder oh guys ladies and gentlemen <laughs> this is it this is one of the best one of the very best vanillas i have ever smelled the name gives it away it's a vanilla that is quite powdery with a lot of coconut now if you know me or if you've been here for a while you know me and coconut don't always go hand in hand but in this perfume we go perfect like bread and butter honestly this is amazing this is so long lasting 10 hours plus 
for a vanilla this shocked me like this was so long lasting it projects so much like literally fills up a room this is great like i highly recommend this perfume i wish it was a tad cheaper i do wish it was a tad cheaper but you get quality in here like it's not a common type of vanilla and it's a little bit woody as well in the base you get a little bit of that lactonicness which i kind of translate to sort of like a creaminess but only in the dry down the opening is very bright it's very pungent it's very coconutty just just try this perfume guys try it out um don't go blind buying anything on this list i do not recommend blind buying unless you want to so that is vanilla powder by matier premier i'm just gonna say it now the next perfume is my favorite on this list yes this is the incredible sweet vanilla by montal now this is apricot and vanilla like juicy sexy sweet ripened apricot and the deepest densest <laughs> vanilla this is so incredible guys one of the most long-lasting vanillas you will ever ever smell it would literally stay on your skin for 10 to 12 hours plus it projects far and wide it, it, it leaves an amazing siage people will ask you what you are wearing this is one of the most complimented vanillas in my collection i didn't have it in my collection for a long time i repurchased this because i i really missed it in my collection and because we're in fall and winter i love to wear this during this time of the year it's great for date night and it's actually quite unisex i don't find this to be overly feminine or overly masculine i think a guy can wear it um it's just sweet it's just sweet it's got a little bit of creaminess as well but the listed note is literally apricots and vanilla but there's a lot more in here it gives me like a white musky type of scent in the dry down that just goes so perfectly with my skin chemistry i highly highly recommend this perfume if you like vanilla this is definitely a must this next perfume smells like a birthday cake and it is Vinny west indies i don't hear many people talk about this i discovered this perfume about three and a half years ago and I would never ever not be with this perfume. This is my second bottle. I love this. I love this. But this is the most realistic <laughs> smelling vanilla and caramel cake ever. Like imagine a vanilla birthday cake induced with gooey sticky caramel. This is so edible. This smells like food. You can kind of tell it's perfume-ish, but it's very foody in terms of gourmand. It's the most gourmand on this list because, like I said, it smells like cake. Now, with this perfume, I don't spray it on clothes because it will stain it instantly. So if you are wearing colors like white or pink, then you want to spray directly on skin. Let it dry before you wear your clothes. That's how I wear this perfume. Or oh, I just wear it when I'm wearing black because it doesn't show, obviously, if there's a stain on it. Um, this is so good, guys this is amazing for that edible vanilla and caramel scent that does smell like a birthday cake this is the perfume for you and also the juice is quite thick like when you spray it it comes out quite thick i'm not going to spray it because i am not i'm not wasting this perfume this is perfect for date night this is feminine this is sweet this is addictive this is a compliment beast if you have the Laura Mercier body cream, which I know they've discontinued now, which is so annoying. Laura, if you are watching this, although I doubt it, please bring back creme brulee. Like if you have that cream and you have this perfume or you want to get this perfume, layer them, come and thank me later. Honestly, that combination is chef's kiss. This perfume is chef's kiss. So that is Vinny West Indies. So this next perfume was stolen. Yes, it was stolen from my younger sister. And this is Cotton Vanilla. I cannot tell you how blown away I was with this perfume. I don't have... I've not seen any reviews on this online anywhere. I think it's so incredible. So it's like a vanilla caramel with a really ripe, juicy peach. Now this has a tropical twist, like you get a tropical vibe. It's perfect for holiday time. If you are looking for a gourmand, you can wear when it's hot or out on holiday, or if you are going out on a, on a picnic date or even on a date night in the summer, this is the perfume for you you can't wear it in the winter you can't wear it in the autumn why not like you can wear this all year round but for me it just gives me that 
summer vibe this is great longevity is top tier i kid you not this perfume lasted on me 10 hours plus like this is so good and i wore it to the office a few weeks back and i got so many compliments so this is a compliment magnet this perfume is amazing i don't know why no one is talking about this but i highly recommend you get your nose on this perfume if you can so once again this is cotton vanilla and last but not least is a perfume by Kayali that i absolutely love and it is vanilla candy rock sugar 42 now i love that the notes are at the back of the perfume so you get your candied pear your violet you get vanilla cream this is so so sweet and so addictive it smells really similar to la belle by jean paul gautier but this is better in my opinion i decluttered la belle i couldn't stand it anymore after a while i thought it was just way too sweet it just happened suddenly like i loved it and I just started to dislike it. So I feel like this has a really good scent profile in comparison. It's slightly cheaper or are they on the same level? I can't remember the prices of them both. I love this. This is the only KL in my collection that I have 100 mil of. And if I was to buy this again, I would again get 100 mil because it just so mouth watering it's just so juicy. I just love it and it's great for layering. You know how I always talk about vanilla 28 being really good for layering i feel like this one is extra extra great for layering this is amazing kayali very well done on this perfume and this one does last it lasts for at least seven to eight hours on my skin so that is vanilla candy rock sugar by kayali so my lovelies that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching comment down below your favorite from my list and comment down below your top gourmand perfume thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye